It's lost in music again. Hey, I'd like you guys to see something pretty cool. So let's talk about sex. No, we won't. Um, we'll do that some other day. Today, we're going to talk about heavy metal. The scene you just uh, witnessed there was a TV show broadcast on the BBC late last year called SAS Rogue Heroes. It uh, took a look at the origins of the SAS going back to the 1942 North Africa campaign. And at the time it was broadcast, because it featured music from the likes of ACDC, there were a flurry of uh, telephone complaints and email complaints and all kinds of commotion. Why was that? Well, because the complainer said the music wasn't representative of the era. It was, if you like, anachronistic. Big word for out of place, out of time. Now, I beg to differ, because what better music could you have for young men at war than ACDC's High Way to Hell? Perfect music to mount up, drive off into the desert to kill or be killed. And unfortunately, it's a scenario all too relevantly being played out right now. But you need something to get you going. And I think when it comes to heavy metal music, it's about it's about release. It's about repression and release. And you'll tend to find it, this, of course, now there's, don't get me wrong, there's metal chicks as well. But young teenage men, you know, they're kind of kept down to a point. And then there's this visceral release um, caused by heavy metal music, which allows them to give lip and attitude, if you like, to the man. And then they get put back in their box again for a few more years, go through secondary school and probably college. But at the age of 40 or 50, you will still find them in the front row <laughs> with their Slayer, Judas Priest or Metallica T-shirts given it their all. Why? Because it represents that time where they shouted out, they fought back. It's a release of pent up tension. Me thinks. I could be wrong. When it comes to ACDC, of course, they are the quintessential heavy metal band formed in, I think, 1973 in Sydney in Australia. They comprised largely back then. It was Bon Scott, the late lead singer and lyricist. Um, he basically choked on his own vomit, very rock and roll, alcohol poisoning at a party in London in 1980. He was only 33 years of age, but he sure looks the part, doesn't he? He's You'll see in a moment, you just see just how great he was on stage. What a presence. And of course, in there as well, you've got Malcolm and Angus Young, Scottish brothers who had emigrated to Australia. Angus Young, of course, being the iconic <laughs> schoolboy uniform wearer. So look, just enjoy this. It really is a piece of great music. Starts off in a ter terrific guitar riff, very contagious, typical again, kicks in rock and roll with drums, Bon Scott's vocals, and then you get the bass coming in as well. It's just brilliant. I hope you enjoy it. This is Highway to Hell. Mabel, cue me in. Take 
Show's your money. Your hands are sweaty. So's your bollocks. 